Absolutely. So what, what is it that you consider to be your why, Brittany? You know, what motivates you? You know, you left, like you said earlier, you know, a, a job that was doing quite well and to go off and do this passion that's become a project, which has become a career path, if you will, uh, or a servant leadership, kind of like we just talked about. What, what is your why? My why is helping children prepare for life. Mm -hmm. A foundation in basic math in some circles is considered a 21st century civil right. And it is also a life skill. We need basic math to live fruitful lives. Do you think math will ever become, for lack of a better word, sexy in our American culture? I mean, you know, you kind of talked about it earlier somewhat, you know, it's, it's not something that people run around and you don't really want to go, you know, it's, you know, sports, we have heroes, actors, I can go on and on politicians and there's others, but they're highly visible and, you know, the kind of aspirational role models, but you never hear anybody running out saying I'm a math genius, you know, and I just wonder if that's changing with all the technology. I just kind of curious your take on that. It's interesting because we we spoke about Hidden Figures earlier. I feel like when Hidden Figures came out, that really helped mm -hmm. shift the conversation around math and the power that mm -hmm. it holds. But still, the large the larger narrative is, especially in the United States, you know, people are proud to proclaim that they're not math people. When the <laughs> bill comes out at the restaurant, everyone's right. clamoring to not to be the one to have to to split it up because they don't want to do the math, you know. Um, and so if I have anything to do with it, the answer to your question is yes, one day math will be sexy, but I just don't know how long that is going to take. And even, even to your point about technology, you know, STEM is now a buzzword, STEM meaning science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's a buzzword. It's like the hot new thing that everybody yeah. is talking about, but math is literally the foundation of STEM. You cannot engage in any STEM subject or career without a strong foundation in basic mathematics. And somehow it is still considered the appetizer when it is literally <laughs> the entree. Right. So we still have a long ways to go, but yeah. I think that the conversation will continue to shift with those of us who are doing the work to make sure the next generation feels better about themselves in terms of their math ability. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you sharing that with us. Cause I've, I've kind of wondered that at times, you know, you say yeah, you got a degree in finance and people are like, but you don't seem you can, you know, you're outgoing. You like to talk to people. I'm like, well, I mean, you know, I guess both sides are working there. I don't know. <laughs> but like, what, what is that? Like, why does that have to be the narrative? I remember mm -hmm. when I was in graduate school and when you said that you just made me think of this i was i'm there was a gentleman who came for to to visit the graduate program and i remember and he was like flirting with me and he said i i i didn't know girls who majored in math were pretty wow and there you have it that's all you gotta say <laughs> stop right there 